Smith in RJ's gym, Edmonton. I'm gonna ask him a few questions for his promo video. Hi right, Mitch. How are you Mike? Not bad. Right, what would you say your plan is over the next 12 to 18 months in boxing? Um, I would like to win a Southern Area title within the next six months, hopefully, well hopefully before Christmas. Um, yeah. You know, it's been a few complications about getting it. Uh, they want me scheduled in, in more six rounders, eight rounders than that. You know, if, if I had it my way, I'd fight for it now, but you have to go through procedures and whatnot. Um, so yeah, hopefully a southern area and, and, you know, and hopefully fighting for an English title. There's no rush with me. I can just uh, go through the motions at the moment yeah. and, and, and keep doing what I'm doing, take training hard and taking each fight as it comes. Yeah. So yeah. What would you say boxing done for you as a person throughout your career so far and through your amateur career as well? Um, all round, it's made, it's made me a good person all round. It's just, uh, you know, it's the discipline in the sport that you, you've got to have and just makes you, you know, you have to respect other people as well in the game, you know. Yeah. You know, so it's, all around it's just made me respectful. I'm, I'm a fit I'm a fit man, do you know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, a lot of discipline in life, which is good, yeah. As a boxer, you do the, you do the business in the ring. Who do you have behind you who does things outside the ring? Um, I've got, my, obviously, my coach, Jason Rowland, uh, my dad that does my tickets, John Smith. Um, Richard Clark, my manager. Uh, promotional sides, I've got yourself and John yeah. on board. Um, so yeah, you know, I've got a good team around me. Uh, that everyone looks out for me. So yeah, everything seems to be going well. You're promoted by Hall of Fame promoter Frank Warren. What do you make of all the uncertainty around the stable with fighters moving to maximum and so on and so forth? Um, I ain't going to really say too much on the subject, but you know, I'm happy where I am. Yeah. I'm happy with Frank and Francis and everyone else, so. That's all that matters. Yeah, I saw that, that's that's all that matters. Yeah. I'm not worried about anyone else. Right, no. What was the process you went through to go from an amateur to a professional boxer? Um, when I was an amateur, I uh, won various titles and I won the senior ABAs that sort of put me, in, put me in the pictures to sort of go pro. You know, I didn't get picked to fight for England and go to like European or Olympic, Olympic games and things right. like that. You know, so I just thought there was only one one more place to go, and that was to go pro and, and do things as a pro. You know, so wasn't a bad decision at the end of the yeah, day. No, it's, it's going alright at the moment. So yeah. yeah, that was it, really. Box rec rankings. You're ranked 21 in Britain at the moment. How do you feel that you can better your better your ranking in on box rec? Um, you, you know, I can I can only I can only fight what, what's in front of me. You know. Yeah. Whatever opponents put in front of me, front in front of me, I'll, I'll, I'll beat. You know, so whatever. If they don't, if yeah, I can give a monkey's where they rank me. Tell you the truth, I know where I should be. I know where yeah. I'm going. Yeah. You know, I know where I'm going. So I can, Again, I can care if they put me. To. I can care if they put me last. I know, I know, I'll beat anyone. You know, in Great Britain, I have to because I want to get to the top. So yeah. it's not whether I will. I'll, you know what I mean? I have to. So. Yeah. On July 20th, that's your next fight. Yeah. Do you know who you're fighting yet? No, I haven't got no opponent's name no just yet. No. No. Uh, away from boxing, what are your biggest interests? I know you're into fishing. Well, I'm off fishing, you know, I go weekends weekends and you know I'd like to I'd like to get a week out going out to France and, and doing a week out yeah. in France fishing. But yeah, no, I do I like um I like my fishing and just you know, just being around my family and that really, being around my family girlfriend man. and that, yeah, going out, chilling out and that really. Right, this is going to respond to what, like pre-fight schedule, pre-fight, what you do pre-fight now, yeah? Um, how long are you usually told before you have a fight? So when do they tell you how long before the fight is it usually? It's, it varies, it's various different, do you know what I mean? It, yeah. I mean, I, I like to get like a good eight to ten week camp in, yeah. you know, and that's and that's just for six and eight rounders at the moment. But, you know, if I was to, if I was to fight for a title, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to know 12 weeks in advance, but, you know, you look at like Lee Purdy the other day. He took a world title on say like four, four, five weeks or whatever yeah. it was notice, you know. So yeah. and had to lose stupid amount of weight. But you know, it, 
you, you just have to you just have to take what, what's put on the plate, you know? So do what you gotta do. Yeah. Right. Nutritional wise, what do you what do you eat? Breakfast, lunch and dinner kind of thing. What do you what do you eat when you're when you're going through your your pre fight? I eat healthy. I don't like yeah. to tell too many people my yeah. eating plans. Just as long as you eat well. I eat well. Yeah, I eat well, I take all my supplements morning. Usana? Morning Usana supplements yeah. morning, afternoons and evenings. You know. What do you least look forward to in training? What's when Jason comes to you and says we're doing this today? What is it? Just meeting up with him. Really. <laughs> nah, um, nah, when it, to be honest with you, I like you know the body bag was quite tough. Yeah, I was that's on what that. Done today. I was on that today. Um, you know, you, you don't feel like you get anywhere hitting it, but it, you know, it's so good for for bringing your fitness up. Yeah. You know, so that's probably what I don't like, but that's why Jason gets me on it all the time. Yeah. When fight day comes, what what's through your what, what's going through your mind? What do you do? You, you um, wake up early. Uh, I try to tell you the truth. I used, I used to wake up nice and early, but I started getting a little bit of a lion. Yeah. Um, it's just to try and take your mind off of it. I mean, if I wake up early, I'm thinking about it all the time. So yeah. I just try and forget about it, you know, for as long as I can. Clear head, keep it clear. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't even think like I'm the worst for not even thinking about my fight. Even when I'm in the changing rooms, yeah. I've got my shorts on, I've got my gloves on. I literally think about it just as I'm walking to the ring, and that's when I'm on. You know, yeah, I'm yeah, thinking yeah. about it. So when you're in the changing rooms, you check like your Twitter or you check your, t your text. Nah, or nah, nah. I'm off the I'm off the phone. I'm just you know I'm just in, in the, the changing room, having a laugh in the changing room. You know we got like my team with my team we're like a family. You know so yeah. when we're in the changing rooms, we're having a good laugh and you know just just trying to trying to take my mind off of the fight because I mean every fight I know is I'm you know it's nerve wracking before you go yeah. in there. So, no, yeah, about that. You know, but you got you got to sort of just try and enjoy it. You know why? Why sort of beat yourself up when this is, you know, this is your job, you train 8, 10, 12 weeks for this. You can sometimes so lose the fight before the fight of, starts. You know, making yourself all nervous and yeah. that. Yeah, no, definitely. But yeah. Right, that wraps it up. Thanks okay. a lot for that, Mitch. Top man. Good Thank training. you very much. Cheers. To keep up to date with Mitchell Smith, visit mitchellsmithboxing.co.uk. Follow him on Twitter at mitchellsmith92, hashtag Team Babyface Assassin. Proudly sponsored by USANA Health Sciences, ATS Interiors, Danslow Signs, Winter Well Build, Edgeware Scrap Metals, Handsome Men's Club Clothing, and Stoke Bell Limited. <laughs>